Hey folks, Randy here doing cut and trim. So I wanted to tell you about how I uh, handle uh, uh, insurance claims. Uh, when something breaks on a customer's property, I wanted to tell you how I handle it. And for folks that have been subscribed to this channel for a long time, you're gonna be like, Randy, I'm pretty sure you've covered this several times. And you're probably right. Uh, but a lot of new people since the last time I did that. And uh, so I'm gonna cover it again. Um, and I'm gonna cover it from several different angles. Uh, so this is actually going to be like, like a four or five part video series, but the videos are all going to be standalone. Um, but uh, so long story short, I'm mowing a customer's property or trimming actually. And as I'm finishing trimming, I, uh, I look and I'm like, I don't remember uh, this customer's uh, storm door having that uh, crinkly pattern in it. <laughs> I always thought it was perfectly see-through. This looks hard to see through. Oh, and it's also just slowly falling apart. Daggone it, I threw a rock into it. <laughs> so I always handle this kind of stuff the exact same way, every time. Uh, you don't want the customer to discover this. You wanna be the one to let them know. So I immediately turned the trimmer off, took a picture, emailed the customer a picture saying, I don't remember exactly what, because this was a couple months ago. Um, but something to the effect of, hey, I was servicing your property and I busted your screen door or storm door. Uh, don't worry, I have insurance. I'm taking complete responsibility for this. I will take care of, uh, I, will, I will take care of getting this replaced or fixed or whatever. And then I always finish it with, would you like me to use my contractor or would you prefer to find your own? So I'm immediately putting the thing, I'm showing them that I'm ready to take action right now. Um, and so I sent that to the customer. Oh, finished service in the lawn. Uh, also let them know today's cut's gonna be for free. And uh, so they uh, they email me back, they're like, oh man, thanks for letting me know. Uh, yeah, uh, you just go ahead and use your contractor. I'm like, Great, I've been using the same company for six years now. Six? Yeah, six years now. Um, I've never, they're very fast, good to go. And so I uh, immediately call, before I've even called my insurance company, I call the uh, uh, contractor that I use and I say, look, got a busted storm door, need you guys to fix it. Um, just, you know, whatever cost it costs, uh, just, you know, need you to take care of it. So they say, no problem, uh, it'll be two weeks. And so I'm like, great. Um, then that night when I get home, I contact my insurance company and let them know, got a claim. Insurance company approves it, storm door gets fixed, and uh, everyone's happy at the end of it. Well, well, I'm, well, the situation gets resolved. <laughs> um, we'll get there. Uh, and uh, so when I handle this kind of stuff, I know a lot of folks say like, you know, uh, don't do any money out of pocket. I don't feel that way. Um, if I've busted something, I want the customer, I want it to be solved for the customer as quickly as possible. So uh, when the contractor uh, um, provided me an invoice, um, I immediately paid it because I don't want anything holding up the customer and I know I'm going to get reimbursed by insurance. Uh, if it was like a massive thing, I, I probably, you know, that if it was more than probably more than a thousand bucks, I probably wouldn't pay in advance but like in the case of the storm door it was like four hundred dollars um so i just paid it an insurance company paid me back um and so that's how i handle uh, uh insurance claims in a nutshell now this particular insurance claim uh had some hiccups <laughs> um it did and uh, when it was all said and done um, I was able to retain my customer. That contractor that I've been working with for six years lost me as a customer. And my general liability insurance company that I've been using for also six years, um, they almost lost a customer. So a lot of stuff went wrong. I gotta be honest, and it's going to sound like I'm tooting my own horn here. I think I'm pretty much the only person that handled this thing correctly. <laughs> and we're going to get all into that. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in a couple different ways. I'm going to talk about um, 
how when things are going bad you can retain a customer when things that have gone wrong and you screwed them or in my case I screwed them up um, and then things just go from bad to worse how you can retain that customer even though they got every right to be really pissed off at you second we're gonna talk about how my how that contractor lost me as a customer how I'm not gonna work with them anymore the third thing we're gonna talk about is my experience with my insurance company and I'm just gonna be completely honest with whatever it would all happened there um, the good and the bad starts off bad it ends good and the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, um, doing business with church folks um, this is a that's a tricky topic um, and I'm gonna get into it because the contractor that I was working with um, I go to the same church as them and uh, that made some of this what we're going to talk about very uncomfortable um, but that'll be for future videos. So that's how we're going to handle this. It's going to be, a, including this video, I guess, I guess it'll be a total of four videos. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, this is Randy with Dolan Cut and Trim. I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. And stay tuned for part two when I discuss um, how things went down with my contractor. Have a good one.